The journey to the edge, the wanderer and the edge. The edge of the solar system. The distant frontier where the sun's authority weakens. Where warmth thins. Where light loses its dominance. Where darkness begins to rule. The wanderer approaches the boundary. For nearly half a century, a small, unassuming machine has drifted through silence. A lone traveler crossing distances no human body could survive. No eyes to see. No ears to hear. Only instruments listening to the universe breathe. A messenger built by a young civilization. Forged from metal, wires, and hope. Sent outward with no promise of return. Long after it left the familiar planets behind, it pressed onward. Past the swirling storms of Jupiter. Past Saturn's shimmering rains. Past Uranus's tilted silence. Past Neptune's cold blue shadow. Beyond the last planet's fading gravitational pull. Beyond the final warmth of the sun. Voyager 2 continued. Steady. Patient. Uncomplaining. A fragile lantern drifting into an endless cosmic night. It launched in 1977. A time of cassette tapes and vinyl records. Of flickering disco lights and analog dreams. A world of blinking bulbs and spinning reels. A world where computers filled entire rooms. Yet held less memory than a modern wristwatch. In that world, Voyager 2 was born. Humble in size. Delicate in construction. Yet vast in ambition. It was never designed to last this long. Its expected lifespan was barely five years. Five years to rush past the giant planets. Five years to glimpse alien worlds no human had ever seen. Five years to send back a handful of priceless measurements. Five years before power faded. Before silence claimed its voice forever. But fate rewrote the mission. Decades passed. Generations change. The world that launched Voyager grew old. Yet Voyager endured. Nearly half a century later, it is still out there. Still alive. Still listening. Still whispering across distances so vast that even light takes hours to catch up. But something change. The whispers change. The tone change. The message itself began to feel different. No longer just numbers scrolling across screens. No longer cold equations and data points. There was a pattern beneath the noise. A rhythm hiding in the static. Something deeper. Something that felt intentional. Voyager did not simply leave the solar system. It crossed something far more profound. A boundary. Scientists once believed that boundary would be gentle. A slow fading of solar wind. A smooth blending into interstellar space. Voyager shattered that assumption. It recorded a sudden jolt. A spike in particle density. Magnetic fields twisting violently. Radiation surging without warning. This was not a soft transition. It was abrupt. Violent. Defined. A border. A razor-sharp frontier. A cosmic threshold between two realms. It was as if our solar system were wrapped in a living shell. An invisible bubble of energy and force. A vast protective membrane. Expanding when the sun grows active. Contracting when the sun grows quiet. Voyager 2 approached from a tilted, unexpected angle. It crossed this shifting barrier where no one predicted it would be. The edge of our system was not fixed. It was not static. It was dynamic. Responsive. Alive. 
And then, came the shock. Beyond the sun's influence, Voyager detected something uncanny. Magnetic fields aligned almost perfectly with those inside the heliosphere. Seamless. Ordered. Unnaturally precise. Some scientists called it coincidence. Others felt unease settle in. Was nature truly this perfect? Or was something shaping it? Then the signal stopped. Voyager 2 vanished. No transmission. No heartbeat. Only silence. The cold hiss of empty space. Hours passed. Then days. Engineers watched unmoving screens. Commands raced outward at light speed. Then, without warning, Voyager spoke again. No reset command. No human intervention. It simply woke up. The data that followed defied explanation. Spikes. Rhythms. Electromagnetic pulses repeating with flawless regularity. Not turbulence. Not cosmic rays. Something else. Low frequency oscillations. Every 13.2 hours. Exact. Unchanging. Weeks passed. Then months. The surrounding space began to react. Listening. Responding. When the signal was translated into sound, the room fell silent. It did not sound mechanical. It did not sound artificial. It sounded alive. A slow, distant heartbeat. Then came the spirals. Bursts of energy followed by silence. Repeating. Cycling. Recursive. Patterns seen throughout nature. In storms. In galaxies. Written into mathematics itself. Some whispered intelligent. Others stayed silent. Voyager's magnetometer detected something stranger. The magnetic field did not merely bend. It folded. Curved. Wrapped around the spacecraft. Space itself twisted. A structure. Closed door meetings followed. Nothing in known physics explained it. Then the impossible occurred. Subsystems long believed dead flickered back to life. Instruments powered on without command. Voyager no longer behaved like a failing machine. It behaved like one being guided. The images were stranger still. Not photographs. Impressions. Soft arcs of light. Shadows moving deliberately. As if the darkness had texture. As if something brushed against reality. Scientists argued endlessly. Ancient starlight? Or something else entirely? The surrounding plasma no longer behaved like noise. It responded. Researchers named it the response field. Space was no longer empty. It was reactive. The pulses continued. Steady. Methodical. Voyager had uncovered a hidden rhythm. Embedded in interstellar space. Magnetic spirals repeated across every scale. Not chaotic. Not random. The boundary was no longer a line. It was a surface. A membrane. A place that remembered contact. And the flickers grew unsettling. Memories. Not voyagers. The universes. Stored not in machines. But in space-time itself. Something was out there. Not a planet. Not a star. An awareness responding when touched. Voyager did not find emptiness. It found presence. A presence at the edge of the sun's domain. Not hostile. Not welcoming. Simply aware. It bends magnetic fields. 
shapes plasma, and it knows Voyager. By extension, it knows us. So the question remains. Are we observing the universe? Or is the universe observing us? The void is no longer silent. Its rhythm continues. A heartbeat echoing across eternity. Voyager 2 remains. Still drifting. Still listening. And whatever lies beyond that boundary. May redefine our place in the universe.